What's up everyone, Deathwish back with another video today and we are going to introduce a new series that I want to start bringing to the channel every week. Um, that's my goal anyway and we are going to call it Arena Wednesday. What we're going to do is we are going to go into Arena and we are going to pick the highest power player on every page we're not going to refresh it we're going to, whatever page it populates we're going to pick the highest power player there all right not doesn't matter about arena rank we're going to pick the highest power player there and we are going to we're going to attack them and we are going to see how we can win how we can try to be strategic about our our units our officers things like that how we can win and hopefully that will give you guys not only an entertainment aspect of things but it'll give you some more value in terms of arena and seeing how you can navigate attacking and defending against higher level players with that being said, again, just a reminder, yesterday was the first official day that we have released and launched the community Discord as we have now crossed the 500 subscriber mark. And I, again, can't thank you guys enough for all the love and support you guys have shown me on the channel to this point. So if you guys are not already in it, we've been having a ton of traction. A ton of people have been joining. Been awesome. We're already having a lot of fun in there. So if you guys have not joined yet, Go ahead and do so. The link will be in the description. The link will also be in the pinned comment underneath this channel, as well as the link is in the about section of the channel. So we've got a lot of places you can find the link and that will take you directly to the Discord. And I would love to see you guys over there. Welcome back, guys. All right, so we are in the arena. I have all seven attacks. We're going to do all seven attacks. We're not going to use any of the extra tickets that you get for completing the daily challenges. We're, we're not going to use those. We're going to do on every week that we do this series, Arena Wednesday, we're going to take all, the seven, all seven attacks. Like I said, we're going to pick the highest power player on each uh, page. With the exception, I do want to make, uh, I want to make this clear, with the exception of any UN members because I do not want to attack any of my alliance members. If it comes down to that and that's all it keeps refreshing, fine. But if we can avoid it, then we're going to avoid it. So if we got a UN power player that's the, the most powerful on that page, we're going to pick the second most powerful one or whichever one is the most powerful that is not in UN. But other than that, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this fired up and we will get started. As we, as we get going here, though, I want to show you guys on server 14 what our weekly buffs are. So for this week, we have got infantry firepower is increased by 200%. We've also got infantry blast damage resist is increased by 200%. Okay, so here is for reference, here is my unit setup as of right now this week. So I am running a super heavy with spanner and steel fighter. I am running a Liberty Infantry with Percy and White Wolf. I am running the Rocket Trucks with Antonina and Eruptor. I am running the Liberty Howitzer, with, or the Liberty Artillery, I'm sorry, with um, War Machine and Bloody Mary. And then I am running the Vanguard Tank Hunter with Guardian of Truth and Winter Huntsman. So, as reference, that's what we've got, and let's go ahead and get this ball rolling. So, let's see who we've got here, who is the most powerful player. We have got this one. Uh, well, okay, so he is UN. Okay, everybody here is UN. Let's go ahead and try to refresh this. Let's, let's find somebody else. Okay, everybody here is UN. Maybe we're just going to have to fight somebody in UN. I really don't want to. Okay, we're not going to refresh again. We're going to pick. I'm not attacking Josh. He's my 313 brother, so we're not attacking him. However, this is going to be the next most powerful person. So let's see what we've got. All right, so they have got, it looks like, a Liberty Heavy, a Super Heavy, some Rocket Trucks, some Artillery Units, and some Infantry. So here's what we need to do. We need to go ahead and get our rocket trucks lined up on the side of their infantry so we can hammer that. We are going to keep our uh, infantry, we're going to swap this over to keep it out of line with their rockets and their artillery will hit it. Actually, not if we do this. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and shift everybody over and we will just try to avoid them that way. Uh, so that should be enough to do it. Let's see what happens. All right, perfect. I think this may work out exactly how I was hoping it would. So there, it looks like their rocket trucks are going to engage with 
my Super Heavy, which I want it to sponge. It looks like we have taken one of their units out already, so that is great news. Uh, it does not look like, however, unfortunately, my rocket trucks are engaging their infantry right off the bat like I had hoped. Now, they're, there it goes now. Okay, we're going to pummel that into the ground. Let's see here. All right, the infantry is finished. We just finished off their rocket trucks, and now it looks like we've just got their artillery unit remaining, and that's it. That's a wrap. All right, that is number one down. All right. Let's find out who we have next. Man, I need to find a battleground that does not have a ton of UN players. This is crazy. All right, so let's see. Who is our next one? Okay, right here. Let's see. All right, so we have a, it looks like a martyr's medium, some infantry, some rocket trucks, a tank hunter and an artillery unit so somewhat similar of a lineup here however we are going to slide let's see if we can do that we're going to slide our super heavy over we're going to slide a tank hunter over we're going to slide our rockets over and we're going to see if we can target that infantry unit and get them out of there early so we can go ahead and move on to some of the other units hopefully it will do just that and it does not let's kind of zoom in here it does not look like that is the case or like that has worked out how i intended it it is targeting its mediums actually all right okay the mediums are now gone there goes the infantry getting worked down let's see here all right infantry is almost gone there we go infantry has gone now we're moving up to the rocket trucks get those out of there that is huge there we go all right, we are moving on to the tank hunters. Tank hunters are almost there. Look at that. Look at that infantry unit just sponging damage. That is huge. That is absolutely huge. You guys really, when you guys are working the arena here, make sure you utilize the weekly buffs, but do not overkill the weekly buffs. And what I mean by that is our weekly buffs, as, as you guys saw at the beginning there, were the infantry, right? I have seen some people use all three infantry units because of the weekly buffs. So I, I understand, but you've got to use the buffs and maximize the advantage of those buffs, but don't overkill the buffs because when you overkill the buffs like that, then you are really hurting yourself in the sense of you're, you're, you're limiting yourself on the other units that you can, you can handle and that you can deal damage to. All right, so let's go ahead. We... Let's see who, who we've got here. Let's go ahead and challenge here. All right, so we've got infantry. It looks like we've got a Liberty artillery unit, a Marty howitzer, a super heavy, and then a tank hunter. So let's do this here. We're going to swap some things around. We're going to move this tank hunter here to sponge that damage. We are going to move all of this over like so. All right, let's see if we can't send our infantry over there and kind of pull some attention away and keep some occupy uh, some some attention occupied on that for a bit so if this works out there we go that's that worked out perfect that time looks like we have got the infantry targeted and we are working that down let's see here infantry should be gone now all right let's see where we move on to so we've got our infantry over here that is sponging so that is doing a fantastic job it's giving me time to get my other units over there that artillery could be a problem though. It's super heavy as the sponge, so this is gonna be where he, he might be able to make up some ground while I sit here and try to eat away at his super heavy. He's just gonna light me up. Okay, looks like we got rid of that. And now we're on to the artillery units, which are a whole lot easier to handle because they are much, much weaker units. And there we go, we are done. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see let's who do we have on this page that we can fight i really don't like to target uh, like i said i really am not a fan of even fighting un members if i can avoid it but if i have to like we have had to at this point i i absolutely am totally opposed to like targeting or zeroing people i don't like hitting the same person over and over and over again especially not if they're in un so we've got a non-un member here let's go ahead and see what we've got 
So we have got a super heavy, an infantry, some rockets, artillery, and a tank hunter. So let's do this here. Let's go ahead and shift the super heavy over, swap the infantry around, and we are going to do this. We're going to move the rockets here, tank hunter here, so we can zero in on the infantry, and let's see what we got. Hopefully this infantry unit, my infantry unit on the side here will be able to keep and hold this attention while I work down his. That's the key, guys, just mo t taking the time, like I said, um, in the arena guide, just taking the time to really see what your your opponent's setup is, what they're running, and, and really take the time to be strategic about your units, where you move your units, place them, things like that, because you can, you can really make a difference in that. And, or that, that, I should say, that can really make a difference in the outcome. Looks like we have lost one troop and close to another, but we are moving on to his last set of units, it looks like here. So let's see if we can't go ahead and end this fight pretty quickly, and we're done. All righty. Moving on to the next one. We have, let's see, we have three attacks left. So let's go ahead. Uh, here we go. This will be a good one. Let's go ahead and attack this one right here. All right, so he does not have any infantry, actually, which is going to be um, kind of good, kind of bad for me in the sense of that it's good because I can target his just main units a little bit easier. However, it's bad because I can't just absolutely erase one of his um, five units, i.e. being infantry, with my rocket. So let's see how we want to be strategic about this. So let's go ahead and shift over. Since he's stacked up on the left side there, let's stack up on the right side here, and let's see if we can't can't kind of get to the side of him and do some do some damage. Hopefully, since he, well, let's see. Oh shoot, his rockets are going to eat my infantry alive. Uh, well, maybe not. No, they're actually targeting my super heavy. I don't know why they did that, but that uh, works out for me. I did not actually expect that to happen. All right, so it looks like we've got one of his units out of the fight already. Second one going down now. There we go. I've still got all my units in the fight, but close to losing a f for my first one. It should be gone now. All right, my first unit's gone now. He's doing some damage on my other ones. He's got his rockets now onto me. So his rockets are gone, and we are closing in on the last unit here. And that's a wrap. Alrighty, let's wait for this to end here. Alright, now let's move on to the next one. Alright, I've already hit that guy. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, we haven't attacked this guy yet. Let's see what this guy can do. Alright, so we've got some infantry, some artillery here, some rockets, a tank hunter, and a super heavy. So let's do this. Let's shift my infantry here keep my super heavy there. We're going to do this here like so. And let's see what we can do. Let's see if this my infantry will pull some of his attention away. Maybe a super heavy, maybe his tank hunter. Let's see. I'm hoping I don't think it did yet. My oof. Yeah, he yeah, it worked out for him. His 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 rockets are targeting my infantry, and my infantry are not targeting his uh, infantry, or my rockets are not targeting his infantry. So he is going to get an early lead here on me. So uh, he's getting the advantage on me quick, 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 quick. Yep, I think I'm going to be in big trouble. That infantry, see, that's how vital it is. He 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 was able to get lined up, target everything on me. He's going to take this one from me. So good job on his part. His, uh, his rockets targeted my, targeted my infantry, which was my goal for him, but unfortunately it did not actually target it, and he was able to target my infantry, and once uh, he was able to get that out of the mix, he focused on my other one. So good job on his part. He did well there. All righty. Let's see. Here we go. We've got a non-UN member here. Let's see what we can do. This is going to be the last and final one of our first Arena Wednesday. So, so far... We are off to a hot start. So he's got two infantry, which, again, I would say this is a prime example. No no offense to this person at all, but I would say this is a prime example here of overkilling the weekly buffs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift my infantry over here because I want it to— I, I know he's got an artillery here, but I want my infantry to stay away from his rockets uh, more than anything. 
So I am going to do this here, this here, this here, and see if we can't split his unit attention and see if we can't get his, his uh, at least one of his infantry units targeted. If we can target one of them, get him out of the fight quickly, that gives us a big, big advantage early on. And my, it looks like my, my uh, rocket trucks are not going to target his infantry. And mine is getting targeted, and that's just not great for me. That is just not great at all for me. All right, let's see if we can close this. If we can get his super heavy out of there, that, that might make us up a little bit of ground. There we go. Come on. There there we go. My, my rockets are targeting his rockets. That's to my benefit. Now I've got a problem because his infantry, well, maybe, maybe it's not. That's interesting. That's the one thing about the arena that is interesting because you can't actually control your units, what they do or who they target. So it makes for some interesting, sometimes you just line them up and they just don't target who you want them to or who you think they will. And it just creates a little bit of randomness. And it's it's kind of frustrating at times, but at the same time, it I guess it could always be worse. So we're almost out of his infantry here. Okay, there we go. Now we've just got a super heavy, or I'm not super heavy, but his artillery units looks like it's going to be close and we got it. All right. So hopefully that helped. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Like I said, we're going to start trying to bring the Arena Wednesday to the channel every week to give you guys some, some entertaining content, but also some informative uh, content. Hopefully, again, it adds some value to you. You start to understand, see how, how the arena works, how you can navigate it, things like that. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed it, hit a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. And again, just one more reminder that if you guys are not in the community Discord and want to be, links below. Uh, in the channel description, it's in the the link is in the pinned comment on this channel uh, uh, below this video, and then it also is linked in the about section of the channel. So lots of places to find the link if you guys want to head on over. We will see you over there, and I will catch you guys on the next one.